Our emergency workers are the ones offering most of the advice on staying in and staying safe during the cold snap. They're also the ones who still have to work. Our Bill Folsom continues our team coverage looking into their approach to the cold. Bill. Yeah, Diane, I get to be inside with you this evening because it's not wise to be outside. And think about firefighters not just going to work, but also working with water if they get called out. They have lessons learned from past cold days that influence how they respond now. Extreme cold, a four degree find in a sunny spot sheltered from the wind. It's optimistic on a day when the rest of the city is closer to zero. A novelty for those able to stay inside. For firefighters, it factors into the day's work rules. I mean, this is definitely a lot different for us as we respond, just because we've got to make sure that we're staying warm and that we can continue to, re to respond to your emergency. Emergencies like the blizzard of 97 influenced current cold day response. Some emergency workers suffered from frostbite. You know, back in, in the blizzard of 97, we had a lot of people that were outside that were outside for extended periods of time. Um, and we even had people that had to medically retire because of it. I started in 2006, so we had the Castle West fire. That night in January, it was, I think, five degrees. Temperatures similar to the current extreme cold in southern Colorado added difficulty to the Castle West fire fight. Hours of pumping water onto the massive fire created ice fields and covered firefighters. When they get doused with a little bit of water, it makes a nice coating over them so they stay warm. But as soon as they dry out, all of a sudden that cold kicks right back in and it's 10 times worse. Dealing with freezing valves and hoses is also an issue when very cold. In the case that you're talking about, I, would, I came in the next day and my first task was to actually chip out Engine 8 from all of the ice that formed around it. When firefighters ask for extra caution on cold days, it's first for public safety, but also for their own protection. They have cold day protocols. We'll look at, at sending more resources or staggering them kind of through the incident. And that video you just saw is roads today. Their snowpack did not melt, so firefighters have to go slower. And part of their training in the academy is how to cover any exposed skin to protect them from fire. That same training helps when it is cold enough to cause frostbite.